In this video, we're going to talk about two equations very important to thermochemistry. The first one is right here, and it says E, the system's internal energy, is equal to Q, the heat released or absorbed by the system, plus W, the work done on or by the system. So let's break this down. So E is the system's internal energy. It's just the energy stored inside of what we define as a system, and it's usually measured in joules. Q is the heat released or absorbed by the system, and this is also represented usually in units of joules. So in particular, a positive Q means the system absorbed heat from its surroundings. And I've illustrated that right here. If we define this system to be what's inside this beaker, and then the surroundings are everything else in the universe, a positive Q means heat was transferred from the surroundings into the system. That is a positive Q, and we have a special word for that process. We call that an endothermic process, or heat going in. Negative Q, conversely, means that the system released heat into its surroundings. So this is the opposite. This is illustrated right here, where heat went from inside the system out into its surroundings. And the special word we use to describe this process is an exothermic process. Okay, what about this W here? Again, this is work done on the system or by the system. So when we have a positive work or a positive W, this means work was done on the system by its surroundings, and I've illustrated that right here. So in this case, the surroundings did work on the system. They sort of added this energy into the system. Conversely, a negative W means work was done by the system on its surroundings. So you can see here it's the opposite. Here work was done by the system on its surroundings and it lost energy. So you can see the two things that increase a system's internal energy are a positive Q or a positive W. So in other words, endothermic processes in which heat is added to the system from the surroundings and positive W's in which work is done on the system by the surroundings increase the system's internal energy. And we can say that oppositely, a negative Q and a negative W decrease the system's internal energy because they decrease the heat inside of the system and they do work on the surroundings. So there's another special way that we can write this W here in another equation to be more descriptive in terms of pressure and volume. And I've written it right here. It says that work is equal to negative pressure or pressure of the system in pascals and it's important that you have to use these units, pascals, times the change in volume. And you have to use the volume in units of cubic meters or meters cubed. And change in volume, of course, is just final volume minus initial volume. So putting these two equations together, if I just substitute in this right here for W, you get this final equation down here. And this turns out to be particularly useful for solving problems concerning this concept. So let's do that now. Okay, so this problem says a 70 watt light bulb was used to heat a gas containing cylinder for three minutes. The gas expands by 12 liters against a pressure of 2.1 atmospheres. What is the change in the internal energy of the gas? So I've written that useful equation that I just showed you up here at the top because this is what we're gonna have to use here. They ask about internal energy, that's E. They mention a light bulb and that kind of sounds like we're adding heat into the system, right? So Q, they tell us a pressure, P, and they give us a volume change, delta V. So we really have everything here, and we'll just solve for E. The trick of this problem is to make sure that we interpret the word problem correctly and change all of our units to the correct units. So firstly, we, I wanna draw your attention to this light bulb uh, concept. It says the light bulb is heating our system, and that means it's going to have a positive Q, right? We're adding heat into our system. And we measure this heat in joules, but the problem was that all they told us was a 70 watt light bulb was used to heat the container for three minutes. Well, you have to know that a watt is a unit of power, and the units are joules per second, but we just want joules. So if we multiply joules per second by seconds, the seconds will cancel out, and then we'll have joules. So 70 joules times 
180 seconds. Notice how I had to change the three minutes to 180 seconds will give us 12,600 joules as our Q. And remember, that's a positive Q. We're adding that heat into the system. So next thing we have to check is the pressure. They gave us pressure in atmospheres, but remember, we need pressure in pascals. So to change atmospheres to pascals, you need the conversion factor, and it's 101,325 pascals per one atmosphere. So I set up the conversion right here. The atmospheres are going to cancel out, and I found that 2.1 atmospheres is this many pascals. Finally, I have to make sure my volume is in cubic meters. They said the gas expands by 12 liters, right? So that's a volume change. I know that's my delta V, but I need that in cubic meters. Well, I know the conversion factor is 1,000 liters per one cubic meter, or one cubic meter per 1,000 liters, and when I set the conversion up like this, the liters cancel out, and I find that 12 liters is equal to 0 0.012 cubic meters. It goes down by a factor of 1,000. Now I have everything I need to plug into this equation here. So my Q I found to be positive 12,600, and my P was 212,782.5, that was my pressure in pascals, and my delta volume, or change in volume, was 0.012 cubic meters, and if you plug all this into a calculator, you'll get your final change in internal energy to be positive 10,047 joules. So I really hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please hit that thumbs up button. It really goes a long way. Thanks a lot.